Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekend messages reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 17th to the 18th of July 2021. So I hope you well, Virgo. Let's get straight into your reading and start pulling your cards. So Virgo, these are mini tarot readings and they won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you and they can last a few days longer than when they're released. Um... We look at the top line energies or messages that are around you for the next few days as well. So what do we have for Virgo, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Virgos. Okay. Queen of Pentacles could be your energy, Virgo. Uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, male or female. I want to pull that one too. The Chariot. <laughs> we've got the prince of pentacles here earth energy here um oh more earth and oh you know virgo that is beautiful we have the ace of pentacles too okay virgo i'm going to start here because the message that you need to hear is that things have not been easy however the chariot symbolizes somebody who is taking the reins of a situation and through sheer force of will they are overcoming obstacles to victory success winning um so there's definitely an energy here of whatever this journey is about and it is a period of transition can involve some travel as well here virgo um, but there's definitely an energy of you have victory in your sights. There is victory available to you, success available to you. It hasn't been an easy journey, but I'm feeling in this energy there is some kind of winning here. There's some kind of victory. And what it's doing, it is opening up a new beginning. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles is that beautiful new beginning and it's a conscious reality energy It's the beginnings of stability and security in your life on a new path can represent is very good in terms of some money coming your way an opportunity in business or career that promises steady growth stable growth i mean you know the pentacles energy can be about stable foundational relationships too um i'm feeling this is more to do with potentially to do with money um can also be to do with moving home too. Certainly if you're moving from one phase of your life to another and it hasn't been easy, uh, maybe some kind of difficult challenges for whatever reason that you're overcoming and potentially looking to move um, or move careers. You know, it feels that kind of energy. There is some powerful new opportunity opening up for you. It's quite similar to the Taurus reading. Uh, cards on the table, we've got Virgo here, which is the Prince of Pentacles, Capricorn, uh, Capricorn is the Queen of Pentacles for me, Cardinal Energy, and the Chariot is Cancer. Um, so those might be signs that you're dealing with, but the Queen of Pentacles I see as you too, Virgo. It's a general reading. And she is a great card of um, somebody who's very practical, very capable, very resourceful, understands how to use her practical resources to bring stability and abundance into her life. She's a very focused energy. Um very protective energy as well but uh, there's definitely an energy of she can I mean it can be somebody in your life this Virgo as well somebody holds an opportunity here uh, a person a leader a business person I mean, it could be in whatever context here but it can also be as an energy um, she's a sign of success she's a sign of growth she's a card of uh, providing for yourself financially feeling abundant to provide for yourself and those who you protect financially so very nice energy here very good in terms of growth and, and putting down roots so again some of you are either i'm getting this energy you could be moving home there could be some transition in terms of home there could be some change in terms of money career or both because your energy, and I love it, it's the fact it's you, Virgo, because the Prince of Pentacles, you know, the Knight of Pentacles represents a lot of hard work. 
and it, it can represent um, hard work that I sometimes call the Groundhog Day card because, you know, it can be that repetitive um, mundane tasks, you know, it, it just can be a lot of, there's been a lot of hard work put into this victory. However, there is some kind of success, um, an offer coming your way, someone making you an offer. Um, or you making somebody an offer because you are Virgo. So there's definitely an energy here of, of, it feels very good in terms of business, career here, Virgo. Um, contracts can be to do with um, job offers, business opportunities, client wins, call it what you will, some money coming your way. But it's also to do with, um, can be to do with making an offer on a home too. I feel in this energy, um, it's not been easy. The cards are saying it's not been easy, but there is this um, energy of you have the capability through sheer hard work to protect what is of value to you. Your career, your home, feel abundant. This focused energy that you're getting with that Queen of Pentacles to bring growth and abundance and success your way and deliver the Ace of Pentacles, the new beginning. So very powerful energy, Virgo, indeed. But there's, I feel you're, either you might be making an offer, somebody's making you an offer. Okay, what do we have as a final message for Virgo, please? Final message for Virgo, thank you. Yeah. I do feel in this energy, it's, it, it feels like it's been a bit of a serious time, Virgo. And I, I like the fact that this card has come out because... I just feel in this energy, it, it feels like this lighter energy is coming your way where you have this new door that's opening for you where you can actually just um, have fun, you know, or em embrace happiness again. You know, it, ju it just feels like um, there's just been a lot of, of nose to the grindstone, a lot of work, a lot of focus on something, um, a lot of serious energy here. And I just feel that there's a more lighthearted energy, you know, coming into you. So inner child, don't take life too seriously. And I'm going to pull you one more. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, nurture. Uh, polar bear, we have nurture. Allow any anxieties and worries to be gently released and offered up to be healed. Isn't that lovely? Uh, I feel that that is that these cards, two cards, there's some kind of release and some lighter energy coming your way. And I think it's to do with whatever is whatever you've been working towards, whatever you've been taking steps towards, whatever your focus was. Um, there's definitely an energy of, of, of a win, a victory, a success, but it hasn't been easy. But have, nevertheless, there is a new door opening for you. And I'm definitely getting this energy. Some of you are putting down. Uh, you might be putting down new roots somewhere. Um, money career, possibly, could be to do with home. Very similar to the Taurus energy, actually, which is not unusual because signs of the same element can, I, I do find, sometimes have similar energies. Um, but I'm definitely getting in this energy, you are the victor. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful weekend for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.